In this video, I will show you how you can use Stable Diffusion to upscale any image of any size four times with just a few clicks. We will use GIMP and a GIMP plugin that works together with Stable Diffusion that is running on Google Colab. And since Google Colab is at the time of recording free to use for everyone, the whole setup is also free to use for everyone. But before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the necessary links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. If you like AI generated content, then you will definitely like the sponsor of this video. Thanks to Creative Fabrica for sponsoring this video. If you are looking for creative digital art and graphics, then you should definitely check out Creative Fabrica. It is one of the largest marketplaces for creators and designers, with a library of over 6 million fonts, graphics and digital print-on-demand assets. Recently Creative Fabrica launched their first AI image generator called CF Spark. Using CF Spark you can create images that are 100% unique, you can download your own unique creations or publish them on the platform for paid use by other members and that way monetize your AI creations. You can try it out for free or with a monthly $9 subscription. With the subscription you get 1000 speed credits that allow you to jump to the top of the queue and get your AI images first without waiting in line. In addition to regular discounts and daily deals, they also have a contest where you can win store credits with your AI designs created in CF Spark. So if you are interested, you can check out the link in the upper right corner or down in the description and unleash your creativity today with Creative Fabrica. With Stable Diffusion version 2, an upscaler was introduced that can scale up images four times. This is the official Stable Diffusion upscaler repository and if you scroll down here, we will find a code snippet which tries to upscale a white cat image 128 by 128 four times and this works nice very well. And if you have 32 or more gigabytes of VRAM then you can also try to upscale an image 512 by 512 which will give you 2048 by 2048 as a result image. And that is probably the most that you will get out of this one. But what if you want to upscale an image 2048 by 2048? The most obvious solution would be, well, slice the image into smaller pieces, send each piece to Stable Diffusion, get the upscaled piece back and then stitch the image back together. You can do this by hand or write a simple script that does this for you. That's exactly what I did for this video, but instead of a script, I extended the GIMP plugin. This is the same Stable Diffusion plugins repository that I presented in the previous video. It contains a GIMP plugin, a Blender plugin and a Stable Diffusion backend that is running on Google Colab. Now this GIMP plugin already supported upscaling and now I extended this one with the slicing feature. I already installed the plugin on my machine, also the Google Colab is already running. So in this video I will skip the plugin installation, I will also skip the Google Colab setup. I showed you the whole setup in the previous video, step by step. So if you're interested you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. So let's switch to GIMP and see how it works. Here I am in GIMP and I already imported this simple image which I also generated using Stable Diffusion. The image is 512 by 512 and I also used this image as a base in a previous video where I trained the Stable Diffusion model with images of my cat and then I used this trained model with Stable Diffusion and I exchanged the head of this fine gentleman with the head of my cat. And it also preserved the style of this base image of course. So if you're interested how to train Stable Diffusion with custom images, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. So let's try to upscale this one. As I said, the plugin is already installed. So go to AI, Stable Colab. This is the extended plugin and the new thing here are those two radio buttons, upscaling 128 and upscaling 256. So what this will do, the plugin will slice the image into pieces that are 128 by 128 or 256 by 256. It will send each slice to Stable Diffusion, get the upscaled image back and then it will stitch the upscaled image back together with the upscaled slices. In this video we will try both of those and see how they work. Let's go with 256. I will set a constant seed, 10,000 for instance, because I want each slice to be upscaled with the same seed. Then for the prompt, I will use the same prompt that I used to generate this original image. I will take it from my cheat sheet and paste it here. And also we need the backend URL from the Google Colab instance. Now for the steps I will go a bit lower, 20, because I don't want to wait too long. Let's try it out, ok and upscale. 
Now here you can already see it took the first slice, 256 by 256, and it sent the slice to Stable Diffusion. If I look at Google Colab, here at Google Colab you can see the progress of the slice. First one done, now here comes the next one. And if I look at GIMP, then we can see the result of the first slice. Here comes the next one. And the results are now 1024 by 1024. And this will now go on for all the slices. And afterwards it will try to stitch the slices back together. And this is the final result. The size is 2048 by 2048. And it was stitched together with those four slices. Let's just take a look at the original. So this is the original. And this is the upscaled. Awesome stuff. Now from that far it looks perfect. But if I zoom in. For instance, here where the stitches are. So if you zoom closer, then you can definitely see the seams here where the slices are stitched together. So you can see the horizontal line here. And then here you can also see the vertical lines. Now this method is obviously not perfect. And unfortunately you will need to correct those by hand. But overall, I'm very impressed how good the upscaler works. Alright, now this was generated with slices 256 by 256. Now let's try smaller slices. Go to the original, and again, AI, stable collab, and now let's select the first option, upscaling 128, everything else is as it was, and let's try it out, OK, and upscale. Now again, you can see the first slice that was taken, which is 128 by 128, and here is already the first result, and the second one, so this one is a bit faster. This is the final result, same size as the first one, 2048 by 2048. It was composed of 16 slices, which you can see up here. And the seams on this image are definitely more visible. I don't even need to zoom in. I can already see them throughout the whole image. Let's compare the two results. So this is the last one. And this is the previous one. So with smaller slices you can save some VRAM. But you will have a lot more to correct afterwards. Now let's close all of that. Now what will happen if the size of the original image is not a power of 2, but let's say 600 by 600 for instance. The plugin will slice the image anyways, and then you will get pieces that contain transparent areas. It will send those pieces to Stable Diffusion, but this one can only upscale, it cannot inpaint. Probably those pieces with transparency will then get some weird result. In the end it will try to stitch those pieces back together, but those edge pieces will then probably look a bit weird. So if you can, use only images which size is a power of 2, like 512, 1024, and so on. Now let's try something extreme. Let's go to the first result, and now let's upscale this one. So the final size should be 8192 by 8192. Let's try it out. AI, stable collab. I will select upscale 256, and just so I don't wait for 2 hours, I will set steps to 10. So I don't expect a perfect crispy result, I just want to show you that it is possible. So let's try it out, OK, and upscale. Here you can see the first piece was taken, and here it is, the final result. 8192 by 8192, composed of 64 individual slices. Now without zooming in, you can clearly see the seams where the slices were stitched together. So you will need to correct those. But if I zoom in, oh man, look at that. Look at the detail, unbelievable. And every piece was generated with only 10 steps. So overall, I am very impressed with the scaling feature. Now if I compare this one with the previous result, this is the previous, if I zoom in, you can definitely see it's not so sharp. And here we have also the original one, and this one is obviously very pixelated. And that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then please give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. It keeps me motivated, I really appreciate it. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.